So here we have the Toyota Igo X-Play on a 16 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But from the outside you can see that it's a five door car. Let's start off inside the boot and then work our way around the rest of the car from there. So as we approach the boot, you'll see we've got a 50-50 split folding rear seat and then a very deep boot. So given the size of the car, the boot space is actually very good. Okay, so I'm just going to work my way back around to the front of the car now and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But now that we've done a full circle of the car, you can see it's in lovely condition the whole way around. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. The seats are as good as new. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that right now. Okay, so now they're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. On the left-hand side, we've got the rev counter just over here. We've got the speedometer in the middle. And then in the middle of that, you can see the total miles on this car of 33,358. And we've got the fuel gauge beneath that. If we back out to the steering wheel, we've got stereo controls on the left-hand side. And on the right-hand side, the ability to answer and end phone calls. That is, of course, once you've paired up your phone, which is done uh, on the central stereo area. We'll come to that in just a moment. We've also got cruise control underneath here as well. So over on the central stereo, uh, I say this is where you'll pair your phone amongst other things. Uh, when it comes to the music in this car, we've got FM, DAB radio, we've got Bluetooth audio, so you can stream music wirelessly once you pair up your phone. We've got auxiliary input, and we also have USB input, which will come up there if you have a USB device plugged in. Beneath that, we have the air conditioning. So fan speed is adjustable with this dial, temperature on this one, direction of the air on this one, whether or not the air is being recirculated inside the car or you're bringing in fresh air from outside. We've got the rear heated screen just there. When you're happy with all of these settings, that button will turn the air conditioning on. When that green light shows, the air conditioning is uh, on in this car and obviously you can turn it back off again. Underneath that, we have 12 volt charging socket, USB and auxiliary inputs just there and then a five-speed manual gearbox. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to call any of our MJA sites. We'd love to hear from you soon.